For today's video, I am talking all about new kitten essentials. I'm going to be sharing the top things that every new cat parent needs. These are all of the essentials that you want to make sure that you have before you get your kitten. This is just going to make sure that you have everything that you need to get started when you have your cat to make your cat feel at home and loved and just have all of the essentials. I figured it'd be helpful if I did a breakdown video to help you guys if you are about to be a new cat parent. So the first thing that you're going to want to make sure that you have is a carrier. Now they do have a variety of different carriers available. So we got a Siberian cat. So he is a larger cat breed. So we wanted to make sure that we were going to have a cat carrier that was relatively large, one that would work well for a larger cat. Obviously, depending on the breed of your cat, you might just it'd be fine getting a regular sized one. If you are getting a larger breed cat like we do, like if you get, you're getting a Maine Coon or if you're getting a Siberian, then you might want a larger one. We also decided to get one that can transform into a backpack. So here is a look at the cat carrier that we have. We actually didn't have this one right away, but this is the one that we use the most now. This is something that can be used as a backpack, which is great if we need to like quickly travel around with him in a backpack, but it also opens up to be a larger carrier. And that's what really stood out to us about this cat carrier is that this is great because it does get larger to give our cat more space, especially when we're in the car though honestly our cat doesn't stay in the carrier when he is in our car but having a carrier is going to be great when you're going to vet appointments and things like that if you just need to be able to take your cat around and have a secure space for your cat i'll link the one that we have in the description box below if you are interested in checking it out and i'll also link everything that i talk about in today's video in the description box below in case you just want a quick and easy list to go through when you are shopping for your kitten next things that you want to make sure that you have of course are feeding essentials so the first thing is going to be a bowl. So when looking for a bowl, it is very important to make sure that you're not just getting any old bowl. You specifically want an elevated bowl because this is going to help with preventing neck strain for your cat. And also you want a bowl that isn't going to be too deep. You want a shallow and wide bowl. So both elevated and also shallow and wide. And the reason that you want a shallow bowl is that because it helps to prevent whisker fatigue. And if you're not familiar what that means, whisker fatigue is when a cat is putting their whiskers into a deeper bowl and the whiskers are just constantly rubbing on the bowl that can cause irritation for the cat so that is what can cause whisker fatigue so that's why it's better to get a more shallow bowl the bowl that we have this one's really cute it's shaped like a fish you don't necessarily have to get a cute one like this you don't have to spend a lot of money on a bowl but it is important to get one that is elevated they say at least four to six inches to help prevent that neck strain and then also get a bowl that isn't deep you want a nice shallow bowl the one that we have maybe it is slightly too deep but our cat does well with it we'll also put the bowl that we first got when we first got ollie was a little bit more shallow and it's a more simple bowl so i'll link that in the description box below as well so you guys can check that one out if you're not sure what kind of bowl to get then you're also going to want to get some food of course both wet wet canned food and also dry food if you want to go that route now i'm not going to go too in depth about the specific food to get i will post some other videos about food recommendations that we recommend when it comes to wet food and even some dry food now when we first got ollie we did get the exact food that the breeder was feeding because we needed to slowly transition him to the other food that we wanted to feed him but at first you're probably going to want to get get the same food that the cat is already familiar with and comfortable with um, and then you can slowly transition them to another type of food if you want to do that and that is something that is very important when it comes to your cat's food your kitten's food is that if, if you ever want to change up their food you do want to slowly transition their food you don't want to just drastically completely change a cat food because their cats are very consistent eaters and they really do kind of get comfortable and really used to certain foods now my cat now is very used to having a variety of different foods but when you're first starting out with a kitten you just want to keep it really simple and feed the foods that you know that they're already used to having but um, if you are wanting some recommendations for some food when you're first starting out with a kitten if you do want to transition over I would maybe recommend the tiki cat baby formula baby wet cans and then also we fed Ollie the Instinct freeze-dried raw kitten as well as the Instinct kitten kibble. I do eventually want to wean Ollie off of kibble completely but again I'll do another video going into that later but you're gonna want food of course but when you are getting your cat food you want to make sure that it is either 
specifically made for kittens because kittens need do need extra nutrients and things. So you want to make sure that the food is made specifically for kittens or food that says that it's for all life stages. So that means it's okay for kittens as well, but you don't want to get something that is only for adults. And that will be all the way up until they are one year old. And that is what our breeder recommended. So that's what we did. So then you're also going to want, this is not necessarily an essential, but it is something that I think is going to be very helpful for a lot of people. And that is an automatic feeder. This it really actually is an essential if you are not always going to be home and you want to make sure that you have a way to feed your cat when you are not home. Maybe not essential for some people when you're first starting out, but if you are not going to be home all the time to feed every single meal to your cat, then it, that is something that is going to be really, really helpful. Now, I will link the one that we do have and we love. An automatic feeder is definitely an investment, especially when it comes to getting a really good one. I think the one that we have is like $80. It's kind of expensive, but it is such a good automatic feeder. I love that you can kind of put larger foods in there like a larger size so i can put like freeze-dried food in there as well which is great um, but you can also just put kibble in there the one that we have is from a pet libro and the specific one that we have is great because we can con completely control it from an app on our phone and we can change the schedule of the food we can change the portion sizes and we could do all of that even if we aren't home so if we're on vacation and we need to give them an extra meal then we can do that directly from our phone. So that's really great. That's why we love the version that we have. Not all of the Pet Libro automatic feeders have that feature, but that's why we really like the one that we have. So I will link that one below if you are interested. Then the next thing that you will want to get, again, maybe not a necessity for everybody. However, I think it kind of is a necessity long-term when it comes to your cat and that is a cat water fountain. Now we have tried quite a few different cat water fountains until we found the one that we have been using for quite a while now that we absolutely love. It is from the brand Pet Libro and it is their dock stream. And what I love about this one is that it can be used both attached and plugged in or you can even unplug it and there is a bottom panel piece that actually retains charge and you can use it unplugged you can use it wirelessly which is great we love using this when we let ollie out on the deck and into his catio we can put it outside there for him and not have it plugged in so that is a really cool feature that we love about this one so if you're interested in that one i will have it listed in the description box below and when it comes to cat water fountains of course you don't necessarily have to have one however cats do tend to kind of get more drawn to flowing water rather than just stagnant water in a plain bowl they do get most of their hydration and moisture from their food but i do still think it is very important for them to have access to water all the time and a cat water fountain is just a great way to do that and make sure the water is fresh and clean because they do have a filter as well when ollie was a kitten he drank totally fine out of just a plain bowl of water. He has always been very good at drinking water and staying hydrated, but not all cats are like that. Some cats will be more drawn to flowing water with a cat water fountain. So that's something that you might want to think about getting. So then something that you'll also wanna have on hand are some treats. So treats are gonna be a great way for you to train your kitten. So that's great to have on hand immediately. Now when we, our breeder told us not to give Ollie treats until he was six months old, but then when we went to the vet, I think he was like, like th four months old at that point he might have been even younger but they actually said it was fine to give him treats listen to the advice of, of your vet of when is okay to start giving treats when, when you have a kitten just treats in moderation they're great for a training aid and just a great way to help your cat warm up to you i think wet sticks are probably great for kittens because you know they can't choke on it and i feel like wet sticks are kind of like a little bonding treat as well so wet sticks i think are great options for kittens the ones that we like are from tiki cat nulo also has some great wet sticks so those are two brands that I would recommend for wet sticks for kitten if you are looking for some options for treats to get your kitten. So then the next thing is a litter box. Of course, you want a litter box and something that you're going to want to make sure that you get when it comes to a litter, bo litter box. Or with a kitten, you are going to want something that is shorter at first. So it is just really easy for the kitten to get in and out. You don't really want to get something that is fully enclosed at first because the kitten's going to need to just really warm up to it. So having just an open... Yeah. <laughs> 
small litter box like the one here that is going to be really really great that's what you're going to need for a kitten and then also something to note is you don't want to use any automatic litter box with a kitten until they are at least six months old that is what our breeder told us ollie does have a litter robot now and it's amazing we love it that is an investment definitely not an essential per se it's great we think it's totally worth it um, but for a kitten you don't want to do that you just want to use a simple plain small short litter box at first and then if you do want to transition over to an automatic litter, litter box later you can do that but you do want to wait until they are older and then you're also going to want to get a good litter for your litter box and something that is very important for the type of litter that you get is that you do want to make sure that it is a plant-based litter or a non-clumping litter and the reason for this is that clumping litters if a kitten were to eat the litter which it sounds weird you might think that a kitten won't just eat the litter but kittens are very very curious and they might eat litter so with clumping litter clumping litter can actually expand in their stomach and that could cause issues so that's why it's really important to get a plant-based and also a non-clumping litter for your kitten and then you can transition to a clumping litter later on once the cat is older but at first you want to use a non-clumping litter. The one that we used for Ollie, and we actually, I think we used it for like a year until he was one year old, and that is the feline pine cat litter. That one is great. That's the one that our breeder recommended to us, so that's the one that we used for a year. And then we transitioned him over to a different litter. So I'll link the one that we used in the description box below. That one is just made with pine, and it doesn't clump, so that one is a great option. So the next thing that I want to mention when it comes to bathroom essentials, this one is technically not an essential, however, it will make your life a lot easier and that is a litter genie so here's a look at the litter genie this thing is so so nice it's seriously just really great to have on hand not just for a kitten just in general for your cat if you don't have an automatic litter box this thing is amazing essentially it is a dedicated trash can for your cat's waste so that's super helpful that way you don't have to always scoop it into a trash bag and like take it out super often this is something that you can store your kittens waste in for like a week to even two weeks before you have to empty it and switch it out so it's amazing it's only like twenty dollars maybe twenty five dollars um, but definitely worth it it's not necessarily essential you don't have to get that but it's something that's just going to make your life a lot easier when it comes to scooping your cat's litter and just keeping your cat's litter box clean it's amazing we love it so then next on to grooming essentials so you're going to want to get a toothbrush and toothpaste so these are the ones that we have and these are the ones that we've been using ever since Ollie was a kitten. He's now over a year old, um, but we still use these. They're great. And what's great about this toothbrush is that it actually has two sides. So this is the larger size and then it also has a smaller size. So this is the side that we use when he was a kitten. And then as he got older, we started using the bigger side, but it's going to be great to get your cat used to having their teeth brushed when they are young. So really starting brushing your cat's teeth when they are a kitten is going to be great just to get them used to it. And then when it comes to the toothpaste that you use, you do want to make sure that you get a cat specific toothpaste. Of course, you can't just use any human toothpaste. That would not be good. You want to make sure that you get a toothpaste that is specifically made for cats. This is the one that we use. This is from the brand Verbac and this is their enzymatic toothpaste. So this is the one that we use. I will link both the toothbrush and the toothpaste that we use in the description box below. The toothpaste does have like a chicken flavor uh, or poultry flavor is what it says. This is good for both cats and dogs. So that flavor is also going to entice your cat. Ollie actually really likes getting his teeth brushed. I feel like he thinks this is a treat um, because he just really likes the taste of this and he always gets excited when I go to brush his teeth. So that is something that you're going to need when you have a kitten that is a good essential that you wanna make sure that you have. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you have some brushes or a brush for your cat. So if you're getting a short haired cat, you know, you might not need to brush them as often, but it's still, a, I think it's still important to have a brush so you can brush your cat. But short hair cats definitely need less work, I guess, when it comes to brushing them. But because I do have a Siberian cat, he definitely needs brushing. I need to brush him like every week, if not every day, um, because his long fur can really just get matted if I wait too long without brushing his fur. But in general, with a long-haired cat, sometimes they're just gonna look disheveled. Even if they don't have any mats, the long hair, it just can look 
a little disheveled sometimes. I feel like that's just the reality of how a long haired cat. But anyway, getting a good brush set or grooming set is great when you're starting out with a kitten. This is the one that we got. We do have more brushes now, but this is a good starter set that I think is great if you're getting a kitten. It has a variety of different brushes, but it also has a nail clipper, which is great. So that's the other thing that I was going to mention is that you'll want to get some nail clippers because that is something that you'll want to do. Honestly, though, when they are a kitten, you don't really, I feel like you don't really need to clip their nails as much. Um, when they're older and they start scratching things, obviously that's gonna, like with their scratchers, that's gonna help, you know, file their nails a little bit, but it's still good to trim their nails. They, their nails can get long over time if you're not careful. I wouldn't worry about doing it too much when they are a kitten. However, if you do wanna get them really used to, getting their nails clipped, it is great to start as a kitten, get them used to you handling their paws, that's very important. So this little set, it comes with a double-sided brush here, so you got this regular brush on this side, and then I don't even know, pardon, I know they look very furry because all these fur is all over them, um, but it has two different sides of a brush. This set also comes with a slicker brush, great starter set, and it comes with this little comb. Honestly, I don't think we've ever really used this. It didn't really do much for Ollie having long hair. So if you're getting a short head cat, maybe that would do more, but for us, not so much. But also these clippers, these are the clippers that came in the starter set and we actually still use them to this day. We never felt the need to get a higher quality version of them because these are great. They do the job. That's really all we need. So these are some great clippers that come in this set. So a good starter set if you just wanna get all your essentials when it comes to grooming your cat. This is a great starter set. I will link it in the description box below if you're interested. I also really like this brush. You can kind of kick out the fur there and then back into a brush. So this is another good brush, but if you're just starting off, I think getting a brush set like this that comes with the nail clippers is a great way to start off when you are getting a kitten. Something else that you're gonna wanna make sure that you have for a kitten are some scratchers. You're gonna want to put these around the house in a variety of places. You can also put it near furniture, so that way they can get used to scratching the scratchers rather than your furniture. And they just need scratchers in order to really take care of their nails. So that's a really important thing to get that you wanna make sure that you get when you have a kitten is scratchers. You wanna get a variety of them and put them all around. Our favorite scratchers are ones that they're kind of like elevated and tilted to kind of look like they're on a little stand. I'll put some clips of what they look like and I'll also show you some scratchers that are around our house. We do have quite a bit of scratchers around our house for Ollie, but I'll link a set that we really like. I think these are Ollie's favorite scratchers that we have, so I will link those ones in the description box below. So then the last thing that I think is an essential that you should get if you are getting a kitten are some toys. It's just really important to have some toys around so that your kitten can play and also can get used to you and warm up to you. You can get like a little starter set of toys. I think my cat's favorite toys are like the dingly little ones that you like whip around. I'm really not explaining. They're like little teaser toys. Those ones are great for a kitten. That's the one, those are the ones that Ollie really liked as a kitten and the ones that he still really likes now. So I'll link some of our favorite toys in the description box below. But those are all of the things that I think are essentials for when you are getting a kitten. All of the things that you will need and that will just really cover your basis when you are getting a kitten. So super exciting if you are getting a kitten. If you are, congratulations. I hope this video helps you out and helps you just narrow down all of the things that you should get Yet. And if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and you want to help to support this channel It would mean so much if you would use the links in the description box below to purchase any of the things that you need to get It's no additional cost to you But it does help to support our channel so that we can continue making more cat content for you guys But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up And if you'd like to see even more cat videos from me in the future It would mean so much if you would subscribe to our channel But thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you for our next video.